Hello and welcome, it's S tier rank again, and we are playing some Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Um, just got booted up and we're still in our Vivarium and need to head out for a mission of some sort. Um, I don't think we have a whole lot of money, I don't think that I have the Thunderbrew potion yet. I want to say it's a fair bit of expensive, so maybe we can get in a quest to uh, make some money keep going um maybe this adelaide oaks mission would be enough to get us some loot along the way okay the tell of rolling oaks so let's see looks like she's down in here i wonder which one looks like maybe one of these warps directly into there so i bet it's this one right here here we go Okay. Hmm. Well. Oh, I thought I was tracking it. That's bizarre. Maybe I'm not. Oh, there she is. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I take it you and your uncle are close? We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Hmm, okay. Let's see, where is this at? 818 away. Let's go ahead and fly there. Why not? I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. So it's weird to me that you can fly quickly if you're low to the ground, but if you're high, it slows down over time. I wonder why exactly they decided to do it that way. It took me a few days to notice that difference, but if you look in the bottom right, my 
uh, ability to fly quickly is staying up there, you know? What are these guys doing? Are they flying kites? Oh, they are. Nice. I'll pose for a little screenshot over here with their stuff. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Red Rocks loyalists. Just ahead. Oh. Should I take a This will be fun. Be discreet. Oh. That looks like it hurts. Expel the armor. Let's take them out one by one. Switch spells here. Oh. Ooh. Boy, they hit me hard with that one. Oh, man. Oh, we need to turn off that guy. There we go. Incendio. Incendio. All right, um, let's see. We're gonna need something like this, but we should probably add a little bit more spice to it. So let's get a Gunfringo on there, and how about a Resto Momento? A Resto Momento. Eh? Expelling <laughs> You can't stop us. Arrest the momentum. I think I'm about to do it, but expel the armors. Clear city. Not quite. Here we go. Now to find out what happened here. Okay, good. Well, this is already not looking Revenue. too good for the uncle. Ambush three. And we can weld. Looks like a collapsed mine shaft. I wonder. I'm guessing we're gonna have to go down there and explore. We'll look at that here in a minute. Just want to pick up any other treasures that might be in the area. Doesn't look like there are any, so we'll pick up the map and the journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Hmm, interesting. So it looks like it might be kind of down the hill from where we're at. Okay. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Renrock Slot agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their requests and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plan in Gobbledygook. They're after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile, and I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work out a compromise. Perhaps not. All right. Uh, let's see. Rebellion. Pretty sure I can't Confringo. do anything about this. Oh, no, I can. Sweet. I didn't expect that. This looks intriguing. Revelio. Looks like there's something on the way down. Ah, bummer. It's not an upgrade. Tisk tisk. Okay, I'm referring to the image on my phone. I took a picture of it. So. Looks like maybe there's a river nearby or a footpath. Let me see. I think if I orient the map, the mini map like this, and then I just walk down the trail, kind of head down to the right. Yep, there's the river. It looks like eventually we'll come up on like a little hill, and then maybe a small hill, and then like a 
ruins and maybe near the ruins there is a um, entrance way with a gate to something. Okay, I think that maybe this is the hill depiction. Looks like we just maybe continue following the road as long as we're in line with the water. A rock formation? That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the oh, there tree. Okay. I think that we can safely start running. It looks like it's going to be a little ways. Okay, best I can tell, we're still sticking with a crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Okay, I don't see the crooked tree. Oh, there it is. I see it sticking out. There's a crumbling spot. What have you done? It seems we may have it. You! What do you think you're doing? Hey, I stayed away from you. Let's go up over here. I think this is it. Oh, and there's a Merlin's trial too. Let's see if it's a quick what one. What do you have in store for me this time? I don't have enough melon sweet. And the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Confringo! Let's check it out, just in case. Rebellio. Loosen brown palmet scarf. <laughs> this looks like it's... Confringo! Just dying to be lit, but maybe not. Hmm. I'm going to sleep it. Maybe. Let's see a few more enemies. And I guess we're supposed to actually cross the water here to, um, where is Ridley South? This is actually South. I can't tell if we're supposed to cross or what. Hmm. There are a lot of enemies up here. Those gobblers in my family were in the mines at one time or other. Hmm. I do think I am going to swap out my spell set to uh, get something else going here. All right, let's go over here and we'll put this on. Oh, there is a fast travel. Let's see if we can do some Petrificus Totalis on these guys. I think this one might not be over yet. Oh, I think I Okay. That was pretty hilarious. At least I got to do Shrifkus Totalis on one of them. <laughs> Blue powder. What do we have here? I feel like this could be it. Okay, it's gotta be, because we got a new quest marker. Hmm. Slam a leaping loyalist commander to the ground. Hit a ranger with stupefy. 
You can complete the battle without using Wig and Well Potion. Oh yeah, that one sounds pretty hard. Alright, so we need a Descendo. And how about we put Levioso on there? And we got all these. Maybe we could do that. And how about instead of an Expelliarmus, we get like a Levioso on there? Um, that's looking like an interesting combat setup. And let's see. So, what are we missing? We don't have Defendo or Bombarda yet. There's Conjuring, Altering, and Evanesco. And we don't have Transformation yet. Okay. So, if we want to slam one down, we need to be somewhere with that. And, um,. What else we got here? A Guardian Leviosa. Um, yeah. wonder if that could come in handy during the fight. I don't think it will. But let's see. What else could we do? I'm just trying to think of like a good combat set. Maybe, maybe we could work in an Expelliarmus here and how about another one of these guys? We'll do a flip endo, why not? And a Glacius. So we do need some yellow on the board. And this one's gonna be all about moving things around. This one's just kind of utility, but I feel like we should put some stuff in here too, just to get ready for a potentially big battle. Maybe we'll make it mostly red along with a Accio, why not? Okay. So slam a leaping loyalist commander to the ground. Pitiful, truly. Can't see me. I wonder if I can do that and that would count. Oh, he teleported. Come on, Commander, do a leap. Huh. I guess we weren't going to get a leap out of him, huh? Revelio. Okay. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Oh. I threw out some Chinese chomping cabbages. All right. Levioso. Oh, shoot. Oh, little moon calf. I'm going to try to get in the stupefy. Oh, I need to hit the right, right button. All right. Sweet. That one guy didn't wake up, did he? Wow. I'm actually kind of liking this uh, combo here. Flip a troll's club into his face. So are we about to face a troll Rebellion. during all this? It sure sounds like it. Hmm. I wonder if we can get back up there. Disarming one. Alright, I should probably 
get our disillusionment on one of these. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do it here. We'll put it here so we have it on something. I'd love to do two or three Petrificus Totaluses if I can get them. Revenue. This looks a little bit like a Freemason symbol of some sort. Creepy. Okay, looks like our next step is to climb a ladder. Hey, we got us a chest here. Nice. Give me those galleons. Easy peasy, here we go. Meanwhile, that guy is walking around. I've never seen that his buddy is taken out. Oh, there's the Goblins troll. Will finally rule over wizards. Well, he seems alarmed. Nice. Got him again. Man, what a shame. All these are downgrades so far. Hopefully one of them will mm. work out. Not the best place for an unaccompanied student. What about that troll? How are we going to take it out? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know there's one troll. There he is on guard. It's kind of on overwatch up here. Nope. Ranrock's vision of goblins ruling over wizards will be I don't think I can climb up that. I'm gonna have to just kind of go guerrilla warfare here. This is here. the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Curious. I wonder what that is doing up there. Revenue. Maybe I can assign Wingardium Leviosa. Take it down. Um, Wingardium. Slam does a good bit of damage. All right. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Goodness, not a party to attend by myself. Leviosa. Actually, Wingardium Leviosa. Let's take it over here. We may be able to get the advantage on this guy. Here we go. Good bluey. Revelio. Hey, there's our troll. Hmm. Descendo. 
Wow, kind of just smashed them. A little bit bad for them, actually. That was pretty rough. Ah, forest rivet gloves. Finally, an upgrade. Okay, nice. Let's see about the others. I'm pretty sure none of them are, but we'll double check. Nope. Nope. All right, now this troll, fighter troll, at that. Okay, I can take it on, and I think that I need Flippendo for it. So let's get over here first. And we do have this one. I have no idea if it'll work, but we can try. I don't think it's going to be able to hit me over here. Sorry dodging him. This is just not worth that well in these trolls. Must not be doing it at the right time too. a few more uh, Wigan Weld potions than I would have liked, but not bad. Not bad. Hope this is something good. Ah, at least it's something though. Stone walls do a prison make. Hopefully we can get up here. Nope. Huh. Let's try again. Surely we can get up this. Perhaps not the best. Huh. Maybe I need to place it up on the box, on these other boxes first. Um, so we're going to need the Guardian Leviosa for that. Oops. Okay, now we'll get it up. I think that this surely will be high enough. Yeah, here we go. Someone there? How nice of you. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. He's just like, uh. Revelio. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just, that was really funny. He just seemed like kind of mildly annoyed by the whole situation. All right. 
So I think that that's all for that area. Now I need to just continue on this way. I'm really enjoying these spells that let me juggle the enemy around in the air. wonder if the uncle's alive or not. What will we find in here? Revelio. I don't think about it. I hope I have enough slots. Okay, I have room for 10 items. I mean, maybe not the best, but I think we can make that work. May have to sacrifice one or two things. Incendio. Along the way, but that's not horrible. Revelio. Okay, I think that's just decorative. Can't be destroyed. I kind of like the idea of just coming in here and making a big fight happen. Protego, Levioso. Who's there? This doesn't hurt. What's the point of this? What are you doing? What is this? Confront them. Oops. Descendo. Incendio. Oh, death. oh, that one guy is still alive. It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. Revelio. Ah, another lock. Let's see. Alohomora. There we go. Revelio. See, is this going into another fight? It is. Kaboom. Revelio. Looks like we have some automatic blacksmith work going on in here. Incendio. Actually enjoyed the dungeon design pretty well. Like, I feel like they've done a good Rebellion. balance of uh, creative, you know, ways of getting things um, in place. So let's do a say Accio. Accio. There we go. Oh, there's nothing in it. Oh, I already got the galleons out of it. Okay. I was about to say, what the heck? I want to refill. Good for you. Hmm. wonder if this is the hidden, or a hidden room or not. Or a bypass from a fight, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure yet. I'll do a little bit of exploration this way. Okay, sounds like he might still be alive. So let's go over this way first. And then we'll kind of work our way back if we can. Revelio. I think it, yeah, this is looking like it's coming to a dead end. Good. And I think there may have been one other way to check out. I have a feeling this just leads to the same area, perhaps. Yeah, it's just in a slightly different way. It's from the ground level. Okay, let's head back this way. Try not to aggro the enemies too much. 
for this fight, I might actually do a little bit of disillusionment to uh, take out a couple with Petrificus Totalis. Be nice to not have to. Everyone is listening after being locked away. You can count on that. Petrificus Totalis. There we go. Revelio. That was good. That was nice to not have to have as big of a fight. Because I have a feeling it'll be a big one. Even without those two though, it'll be a assistance, you know. I bet they would come running out once this fight gets triggered. Did I see a troll down there too? No. It's all goblins. At least I think so. Kind of nice being a pie. Uh, let's see. Revenio. Hmm. I wonder if I started this fire, would it do anything? I don't think it did anything. I mean, that thing started. Maybe I have to hit a switch somewhere or something. Ah, oh, there are a lot Open of goblins. How to open it? Let's see if we can get this other one. Oh, he noticed pretty quickly. I wonder if they have enhanced vision, like their eyes are glowing red, so I wonder if they're enchanted. Got to you. Wait a moment. He's definitely being cautious, isn't he? Let's see if we can go up here. <laughs> this is quite fun. Okay. There we go. Revelio. Now it's time to collect some treasure. Confringo. Incendio. There we go. Oh, nice. I guess this is a secret room. What's in here? Revelio. Two galleons? Oh, it's some more stuff. All right. Well, we're getting some good stuff. And some wig and weld to replenish the ones we've been using. Good. I may just stick with Petrificus Totalis until we get close to the end, because even with 16 potions, I'm just a little bit paranoid I might run out. I don't think it's a huge risk, but you never know. Rebellion. I know we want to open that boiler as well. Incendio. Hey, a straw sun hat. Let's get that sucker on. It's an upgrade. Nice. Huh. Well, we lose four on offense, though. So. Huh. But defense goes up. 
Well, it's not super special, but let's do it. I guess overall it might be a little bit better, but I don't know. Revelio. I don't think there's anything else in this little back room. Um, I guess we'll go through this area and then we'll double back to the door. What's down there? I wonder if this is where the prisoner is being kept. You'll soon regret not bringing us a metal he promised. <laughs> the traffic is no tell us. Yeah, we'll go through the boiler room if we can. I wonder if we have to get Revelio. home first before they let us go into that fight. As soon as he turns around, we'll sneak up and get him. There we go. I don't know if I want to be able to get this one, but we'll try. Um, here we go. Oh. Might be able to zap in the area to get him to turn around, too. seem to work with this guy. Nice. Alright, buddy. We'll come back for you in a minute. We want to go open the door first if we can. Oh. This isn't the way. This is the way. Man drank against the enemy. With pleasure. Be nice if I can get one of those explosive grenades. And the pulsar to launch an enemy into something. Okay. I think we could probably swing that. So much, you can actually go further. Wow, nice. A Niffler statue. Very cool. Oh. 
It's funny hearing them complain when they're like being so violent to me. <laughs> Uh, a little bit weaker than I probably should have spent it on him. Should have used another main drink, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a big fight. I don't think there's anything else to find in this immediate room now. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Ah. I was curious about why this room was here. I was wondering if we were going to fight together, Rebellion. optionally, or what. Maybe we could have still, but I'm assuming we're just going to sneak him out now that we're uh, with his wand and all. This looks like a treasure back here. Yep. I think we had an upgraded piece of something. Let's go look. Ah, minus four, but plus six. So overall improvement, not much. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Please, pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. It's my last hope. Please. My wand. Oh, thank You did it! I found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. 
He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. All right, let's see. I was just giving it a minute to clear out any uh, dialogue that may have come up, but that looks like that was the end of that particular quest. Let's see what challenges we have gotten here. Um, let's see, we got this Protectors Ensemble that's come up. Um, Avenging Wolf Mask defeat three infamous foes. I guess that was one of the guys that I got the collection card for earlier. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and get a few of these wiped out. Loyalist commander, while leaping, they are particularly vulnerable to being slammed with Descendo. I hadn't seen him do that. I wonder if that's when they use the hammer attack. And a fighter troll. Um, and this is another one that's slamming the club on the ground. Looks like there's one more marker I need to cover. Ah, this one. Purgit is a goblin rebel who fights under Ranrock's banner. He's notorious for his callousness toward everyone except those he truly fears or admires. So we took out one of his direct reports, it sounds like. Okay, we got a few more of these to try out. Nope, oh, I guess. Let's see what else do we need to look at. Handcrafted necklace. Earned by freeing Roland Oaks from the Loyalist and turning his wand to him. That's cool. And it's like nothing else. Um, let's see what pieces we got here. Aha. The Niffler statue. That's it. All right, gear. I think everything's a downgrade at this point. We do need to go sell our stuff. Yep, everything's a downgrade. All right, so we can't get out of here, it looks like. All right, we have freed him, and I wonder how we get out of here. Like, do we just have to backtrack? Or is it right way out? Um, hmm. Interesting. Thinking it might just be a dungeon and we're just gonna have to backtrack Rebellion. like crazy. Do you wanna go back into this big room for just a minute and take a look? I feel like there should have been like one or two more collectible things in here. But maybe not. Nope. Nothing showing on the map. I may have already picked it clean. Okay, I think we'll have to go upstairs. 
Actually, not necessarily. I think that we could have done it. We'll just be dropping down again here in a second. The more I think about it. Okay. This is a pretty nice little uh, dungeon. I think we head to the right. Yeah. And then... Uh, let's see, what is this little room? I think that was one I used Alohomora on. So we just keep backtracking. Revelio. Do another Revelio in case there's something else. I don't see anything. I think we're almost out of here. There we go. So, let me think. Rebellion. Um, I think we just completed that quest. How does this work? Oh man, these almost look like they're not organized in any particular way. That's gonna suck when trying to make a checklist if I want to be a completionist, you know? Um. I bet we have enough money that we can get that Thunder Brew potion now. Yeah, yeah, I think a combination of um, what we've got to sell and just raw money, surely that's enough. We'll get that potion, get it brewed, and get Professor Sharp's assignment Sometimes completed. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Uh, it's 1200. I think that we got enough money once we sell them. We'll go to the room of requirement pretty soon, too. I wonder if at the clothing store they'll add an ability to buy anything you want back. Oh. Oh, don't do that. Almost sold it. Ah, that would have been bad. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. I want to check my inventory and then we'll sell if we need to. Ah. So this is plus two overall. Okay. Oh, looks like there's something else in here I need to examine. Ah, oh, it's an unidentified thing. Okay. So let's sell this other piece and buy the potion What as can well. I do for you today? A wise decision. Okay. Thank you. Nice. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Now I wonder if we have enough to go to Tomes and Scrolls and get that last thing. Um, but let's check out, I want to go to the clothing store because I don't think I've actually been in there yet. Uh, that's the hairstyling and the wizard wear. Okay. So let's go there first. I've already bought all the seeds as well. Um, so we're good on those ingredients. I think I need to buy the compost or not the... The thing that makes the plant parts, I can't remember the name of that one, but I think it's at Tomes and Scrolls, and I also need to buy the highest capacity tables for plants. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. Oh, so the stats on these are actually pretty good. Wow. Okay. Um, I wonder if his selection changes with... Um, time like as I level I up, you have a his offerings get better. I bet they Be do. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay. So now the tomes and scrolls. And I've also got a talent point I need to use up too. So let's run by tomes and scrolls, and we'll go to the room of requirement. I think it was like maybe a vivarium thing I needed to buy as well here 
but we'll see. 800 galleons may not be enough because I think those um, high capacity tables were pretty expensive. I definitely want to wait till I have enough money. Uh, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Chopping stations, 1500. Single large is 1000. Medium is 750. Two medium. Three medium. Three small. Five small. And medium potions. So we probably want to get this one, 2500. And this one's so we need 5,500. So we still got a ways to go, like 4,700 more galleons. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. To wow. Revelio. Is there anything to steal here? Hey, there are a couple of chests. What are these doing here? What do we have here? A demi guys. Where? Is there one inside the store? Did I miss? Let's see. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Hi, right, here we go. Chain and staircase. It's a chain and staircase and Tom scrolls are old self when particular book is smooth. Proprietor proprietary here, Tom Strong sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts. Handy for conjuring, I think is what it said. Rebellio. Um, uh, let's see. I think I've already done this once. Now, where is the demigod statue? Oh, it's just back here. Let's see. All right, well, we'll go ahead and steal from you. Um, there we go. All right, um, let's make it evening, I suppose. Mine now, Danny, guys. <laughs> All right. What else can we collect? Revelio. Well, that 500 may have pushed me over on getting something. I Immediately for how much these things cost. Let's Plenty begin. Of wonderful <laughs> books to stoke All right. curious Choppy stations, 1500. Like okay, so we're looking for 2500 and 3000. So, yeah, it's going to be a while. I really wouldn't mind getting the five pot one. Let me know if there's anything first. else I can do to help. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess before we spend too much more time, we should probably go to the room requirement, do a harvest run of everything, and uh, get our stuff identified. And we'll continue on. Dark Arts Dueling Gloves, nice. They sound and look fancy, actually. Let's look at it. Wow, plus 19. Dang. It's going to be a while before we get something better than this. At least I think so. Um, let's see about our outfit. That's a downgrade. Okay. Switch out our wand handle for funsies. Go with this one. All right, so, um, talents. Let's see if we got one we want to spend. Sendo Slam creates a damaging shockwave. Striking an enemy frozen by Glacius blasts damaging shards. Pulsar releases an additional blast directly around you. Fringo impacts produce fiery bolts. Crystal momentum is a curse. Disarming is a curse. And the damage curse target flicks damage to all cursed targets. I mean, that sounds pretty good, actually. Um, 
Perfect Protego releases a damaging blast, breaks enemy shield, stupefy, deals direct damage on impact. Other of those sound nice. Petrificus Totalis emanates an area effect that can impact nearby enemies. Oh, so you can get more than one with that one hit. Okay, actually, let's go over here. Venus Tentacula attacks still additional damage and break shields. Duration of the Focus Potion's effect will be extended when any spell from the spell set is cast during its use. Hmm. Having that to break shields sounds pretty nice, or any of them that are shield breakers. But, I don't know, that curse hurting multiple enemies at once sounds pretty good too. Oh, that sounds nice. Enemy struck with the transformation spell. Transform into explosive objects. I don't know how much longer until I get that though. Let's see if any of my quests mention it as a reward. Okay, this one doesn't say. This one gets me Defendo. Um, wand handles. And that's that. So I guess um really none of that matters the uh what was i looking at do 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 let me go back there we got talents duh okay I'm really tempted by the shield breaker but let me just look a little bit more I like charging the ancient magic meter too. Alright, I think I'd like to do this one because I like the aerial attacks. Like that I think that could help. Love charging up the ancient magic, so we'll stick with this for now. Um Okay, let's do some more harvesting of things and we'll see about brewing that Deep potion. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Thank you, Deke. Oh, I guess it, these are full. Okay. Let's see about these. I didn't really use any of my potions earlier either. That's another thing that I need to get better on. These are all Maximus that we can't pick up. And let's see, a Thunder Brew. Leech, Troll Fig, Central the Dead. Just looking to see what's in common, so. Leech juice is the thing that is used in something else. I think that each ingredient has at least one shared, or each potion has at least one shared thing by looking at things. Um, I'll go ahead and start tracking this quest. After these get back, we will go ahead and find an enemy and we'll use uh, both of the potions at once. So kind of my thoughts were maybe back here and I'll put the medium pots and small as well. And I wish I could see without pulling something the uh, different um, seeds Maybe it shows up actually inside of collections. Uh, let's see. Magical plants. No. Maybe it's down here. Nope. I don't think any of these would apply, so it'll hold us back out. We may have to just empty a pot when the time comes.
Okay, I'm gonna step away for a moment while he's finished brewing. Time to go find some enemies. Where would it be a good spot? How about near the Forbidden Forest or something? I bet we'll run into a few out here. What are you up to now? it against this uh dug bog okay now where's our thunder brew creates a storm around the drinker which will stun and damage nearby enemies Pretty cool. I like this spell. Alright, time to go back to sharp. Oh, that wasn't quite where we needed to be, but I guess we'll just walk the rest of the way. I wish I could find those last three keys. I wonder where they're at. Hopefully we'll find them soon. Whoa, what is this? Holy moly. Oh, it's my potion is still going. Okay. Let's get something less expensive. I hate to actually use one of those again. Oh, what is this? Oh, a training dummy. Rebellion. Any goodies in here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you. I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. No kidding, it's chasing me pretty fast. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Diffin. Let's see. It's this one, actually. Okay. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Defender. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instructions. Let me also. Incendio. Confringo. <laughs> So, as I mentioned earlier, Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Okay, let's read the description of this. What does it do exactly? Slashes objects and enemies from afar, dealing considerable damage. So, slashing. I wonder if this can cut things that Confringo normally can't, perhaps. Totally speculation on my part, but 
that would be really cool if that's how that works. All right, um, let's check our inventory slots. I don't think I have, but maybe one or two things to sell. Is this an unidentified thing? No, okay. That just changes the icons when you're locked in on a particular part. Got it, okay. So there's this brother's keeper. There's the data land keys and more of the moon hunting. Um, I guess let's go back to this one. Okay, and we'll go ahead and warp here. This won't be too much of a trek at all. We'll just hop on the broom and zip on down there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be... <laughs> All right, so how about this combo? That feels pretty nice and mean. Okay. Clearly indicates a limited imagination, in my opinion. You've had too much fire with you if you think you can outdo my taste. Revelio. Hmm. Looks to be a little treasure over here. A castle. Must have... Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Marley. Maybe we can get it Petrifus to tell us what he's got. got protection charms, if you ask me. Revelio. Yes. There we go. That made it easy. Okay, let's check out this one. Maybe we have enough Mallow Sweet now. Hmm. Revelio. I see piles of rocks. I wonder if I'm supposed to magic some over towards there or something. Looks like there's a fast travel fast travel in the area too. There we go. Let's go back to here. See what we got. I would assume I'm not supposed to do that. Wingardium Leviosa. But maybe I am. Revelio. I also have Reparo too. Maybe I'm supposed to climb up on these and jump, kind of like. That one before it? Yeah. This looks like what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea how I'm supposed to jump that far though. I wonder if I can fly. Nope. That doesn't count apparently. As long as I don't jump on the ground, I'll be okay. Okay. Uh, Here we go. Self would be proud. Good. Go finish this quest hopefully right after this. Let's see what challenge we just unlocked. 
Oh, another inventory expansion. Nice. Looks like we got 10 more to go for the next one. So let's look at our inventory, see what... Um, I guess actually it's gear. Wow, we got a ton of slots now. And what what is this? Let's see. This one unlocks at level 23, but why is it? It's not as good as this other one I've got, so I guess I found a pretty nice set here. Okay. Rebellion. Looks like there's an enemy over here. A few enemies. They look like maybe inferior. Let's see if we can do this first. Yep. And Fury. Okay. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Maybe I can get in a Petrificus Totalis or two. Petrificus Totalis. Okay. How did he come to notice? Is that unfair? Or is it jump? That must be bad. Defender. Protego. Leviosa. Yes, we know that part off. Confringer. Oh. Yeah, it's ruining my awesome combo there. Defendo did a good amount of help. Okay. Revelio. Thinking there's probably something else here. Yep. There's at least one treasure. What else do we have? Journal entry 202. I'm repulsed by what I've just witnessed. They have created an furious corpse mutilated to come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing. At last, I think they saw through me. They convince them I'm not a spy. I'm not here to undermine them. But do not figure out what could be next, Bardolph. This mentions in theory. And something about it being Bardolph's turn next. Oh, I think this is rendering underneath where I can't reach it. Darn it. Rebellio. Okay, let's see. Is this the other journal entry? Journal entry one and two. I hate that I'm afraid, but there's no going back. I seem to have mastered two of the curses so far. I've had to pledge to do their bidding if I'm to learn more. Can't let them see my fear. They've already whispered. They're already whispering behind my back. I've been told not to trust dark wizards, but I can't stop till I have enough magic to protect Claire, myself, and all of Upper Hawks. An entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Revelio. Okay, I seen a treasure chest a minute ago, and I think there's a cave or something down this way. What is this? Something kind of rolling around down here. Huh. Let's go check this out real fast. I should investigate. Yeah, you should. Could be money down here, son. No sign of enemies yet. Revelio. Hmm. I wonder if this is an entrance to something bigger. I want to go look at this thing first. Look at this crazy tree, too. I assume this is a Merlin trial. No, it's not marked as one. So. Can I. Wincardium Leviosa this? 
We got him, Leviosa. Huh. Accio. Let's try it again. Depulsa. Accio. We got him, Leviosa. Not a Strange. Maybe it requires Bombarda to get it rolling. I don't think if any of those didn't work, I don't think any of them are going to. Let's just take a peek down here. Ah, maybe I need to set this on fire first. Okay. Ah, so there is a Merlin trial over here. Maybe I have to activate it first, and then it'll let me start moving the ball around. Could it be a Merlin trial? There we go. Maybe now I can do it. Um, oh, there for a minute. There's a glitch where it had a flame and a purple um, icon. Also can do it. Compulsor. Here we go. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. <laughs> it looks like there's a vendor over here too. Let's see if we can sell some stuff. We met this guy before, I think. See if there's something you need. I'm really curious if this actually is worth anything. I'm gonna look that up a little bit later today. The sky size broom. All right, Nandi. And this is a downgrade overall, so we'll sell it to you. Same deal with this one. And we need to identify this one. That's been a pleasure. All right, let's get back to Claire. We'll complete her mission, go to the room requirement, and then probably end the stream shortly after. Revelio. There's bound to be some treasures around this thing. Yeah, lots of treasures. Let's look. That's a little bit of a distraction, but I'd really like to get the money together. So we can buy the rest of our stuff. Um, hmm. Curious about these. Wonder if I need to get back on the green. I have a suspicion that there is a spot somewhere. To enter. Maybe it's right here. Simple as that. Revelio. Pumpkin Fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It has yet to become as popular here as Butterbeer, but one never knows. Somewhere around here is our treasure chest. No, no. Oh boy. That was bad. Wow. I'm kind of shocked that that happened. Hopefully we got a checkpoint after revealing that page. I have no idea where my last checkpoint was. Okay. No, don't do it again. What the heck? Man, they need to fix something about that. That's like way too easy to do. I mean, I don't think I've died yet in this game and uh, well, except for maybe that initial troll fight or something, but <laughs> there's two in a row. <laughs> All right, now how do I, I just want to use the ladder. Come on, there we go. Now somehow I 
feel like we should be able to get into this place. Maybe there's a door up this way. Yeah. Rebellio. Okay. Now somehow we need to get up there and I'm not sure if it's going to let me fly into there, but we're going to try. I don't think it's going to let me. Um, must be some sort of trick. There is this little pulley thing, but I don't think it matters. Um, hmm. Huh. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Revelio. Gotta be something. The most logical thing is to use this door. However, doesn't seem to want to let me to do it. And there could be another object that I could lift to get up there, perhaps. Um, I'm not seeing one, though. It's looking a little bit longer, and then we'll move on. Maybe I can climb up on the whiskey barrels, or the butterbeer barrels, wherever they are. Nope. There's not really a gap up there anyways. There is a little gap here, though. Um, Rebellion. This just screams to me like I need a Leviosa. Or Levioso something. Um, I think we're going to have to find out later. We spent long enough looking at that. Oh, Can't get around that way. I do hope my brother is all right. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Adolf? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! That's pretty devastating. Bardolf, my dear, dear brother. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. If only I could somehow rid our Hamlet of these monsters. I'm simply at my wit's end. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. I can't believe he's never coming home. Part of me wants to avenge the loss of my brother, whilst another part of me simply wants to hide. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Time to go to the room of requirement, and we'll do another run through of collecting as much as we can. And after that, we'll call it a day on the stream.
think we also have an unidentified you should argument be proud or two. Of all the potions you've brewed. No, I know, Deke. I'm the best. And humble, too. Oh. We're full. Brown plummet scarf. Okay. Maybe I should go ahead and use a maximum potion so that that one will clear off and something new will brew. I'm not even sure what it does. Is it offense? Yeah, it was spell damage. Okay. That's cool, that glowing hand. I like that. It'd be fun to chug a bunch of potions right before a battle and just wreck everybody. Start throwing out cabbages and tentacula. I mean, I've got enough for the farm here, I could probably do it. Hmm. I thought I'd used up a few of them in these previous ones, guess not. I need to remember that spells are not the only thing I have at my disposal. And let's check our gear. That's one piece we need to sell, but I feel like there is something else we need. There we go. So this is plus two overall. Alright. Oh, it looks like I also had eyewear to swap out too. But it's a downer as well. Um, got 1833, so... Let's warp out to Hogsmeade one more time, and who knows, maybe I'll have enough to uh, sell to make a difference. If not, that's okay. We'll come to a good conclusion point either way. Hogsmeade, here I come. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Ninety. Another ninety. And a two hundred. Oh, that puts us so close. I think we're only like three hundred away. There is this chopping station though that I could get. Um it makes the plant byproducts. I think I'm still wanting to hold out for these others. I mean, because that'd be 1500 that I have to recoup one way or another. So let's see. Medium potion station. Five small pots is only 300 away. And this one is 800 away. Hmm. I think five small pots may be the best one to go. Because that's two and a half times as much as a single large pot. So we could free up large pots for the medium and large things that we really need to. So Let I think know that anything probably else puts I can us in a good place to pause for the day and we'll go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at S Tier Rank. I'll have an upload soon. Thanks. Have a good one.